I have a brand new box of six tortoise switch machines that I get to play with with my motor shield. So let's see what's going on. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And what are we going to do with these switch machines right here? We're going to hook them up to an L293D motor shield, which can drive four DC motors at one time and two servos. So why is that important? Well, we could take four of these tortoise switch machines right here and drive them from that one motor shield and Arduino and still be left with a few outputs so we could put other devices on there also. So let's get started with this right now by opening up this box right here. My goodness. This is the fun part. All right. Ooh, yeah. I always have trouble opening these boxes. Okay. All right. There we go. Let's take out the, all the little attachments right there. And there's our six tortoise switch machines ready to go now all we have to do now is cut some wires and solder them on to four of these tortoise switch machines if you're wondering what the l293d looks like it's this right here this motor shield has two l293 chips in it and also in the center is a shift register so this gives you more outputs than a conventional an L298N which gives you two outputs which I showed you before in the previous video let's go cut and solder some wire I cut approximately six inches of lead to solder to my tortoise switch machine. Whenever using stranded wire, it's a good idea to tin the ends of it. Here I am tinning the edges of the stranded wire. One of it's going to be soldered and the other one is going to go in a terminal and that makes it a little bit stiffer for the terminal. I'm adding flux to each one of the terminals that I'm going to be soldering the wire to. I'm also putting a dab of solder on each one of the terminals that I'm going to be soldering to make it a little bit easier to take the wire. Some of the solder joints may require an additional dab of solder to it. Adding solder to the tip of your iron allows the solder to flow more freely and heats up a lot quicker. You should clean your tip frequently whenever you're making multiple solder joints. Staging your work in front of you in a line makes the process of soldering much easier. This first sketch that I have loaded on the Arduino uses one push button and one tortoise switch machine and we're going to operate the tortoise this one right here with the push button so. so one push takes it in one direction and the next push 
takes it in the opposite direction. I'm using a modified edge detection sketch to get the push button to operate it in either directions. The next sketch I'll have all four of these tortoise switch machines just sweeping back and forth to show you how that works. In this next sketch we're going to sweep every one of them one at a time and then sweep them back in the opposite direction. Now you've seen how to operate the switching machines in two separate modes, one with a push button and one where we sweep all four of them back and forth. There are many possibilities that you could use with a motor shield and the tortoise switch machines. We'll also be able to hook up a bicolor LED on the terminals just like just like it states in the tortoise manual, so you could get the direction of the tortoise switch machine on a panel light. If you are a member or a Patreon, you'll be able to see more videos on this subject right here, where I'll be giving you more information about the motor shield and the tortoise switch machine. So take a look for that if you are a member or a Patreon. And don't forget to check out the playlist page where I have numerous playlists where you could find everything easily. So until the next time, we'll see ya. And there are so many bloopers on this. I'm going to put a few at the end here, but I could probably make an entire video of bloopers just from what I just from the things that I messed up on this video right here. So enjoy. And you can see it has two chips in there, the L293 chips and a. And what was that thing that I told you this morning that I forgot last night? I forgot it again right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. L. 298N like I have right here which only gives you two DC outputs and I always put this thing upside down an L 293 an L an L 298 and if you're wondering what the L293D looks like, it's right here. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing our dream. Let's go cut and iron and solder the leads onto the, turn the switch machine. All right.